The C400 comes with the following. User manual, wall installation sheet, remote control sheet, remote control, two AAA batteries, and a power cord. Welcome back fam, new for 2023, I have the Samsung C400. Good things come in small packages with some caveats. So we're gonna get into that right now. So you have a small room, maybe like a utility room, a garage, kids room, guest room, hell, even laundry room. And you wanna put a budget friendly soundbar in one of those spaces. This soundbar just might be it. Do you have the fabric, fabric on top, fabric in the front, hard plastic, and that's on both sides. On the bottom, rubber feet, so when you sit on your stand or desk like I got, all your inputs, so you got power, optical, and USB. Around to the back, this is where, this is your like your air hole, like a back of a subwoofer. This is your mounting here. And this is, you can consider this your bumper. So when you place it against the wall, these two will keep it from the wall being with flush with the back of the sound bar. There are a few features that I would like to go over with you guys. So I did plug in the sound bar, so we're all good to go. Starting with this logo, see this right here? Right here in the middle, that logo is near field communication. So what that means is with your device, you can take it, turn that feature on on your device, and you can pair that with the sound bar. It has to be close, that's why it's called near field. And then whatever media you're playing on your phone, it can come out of your sound bar. Now, you, if you noticed earlier, they didn't give you any type of HDMI or uh, optical cable with this uh, sound bar, well obviously no HDMI, right? But no optical cable. That's because they're really trying to push you to use the Bluetooth. And I'm really trying to push you to not use the Bluetooth. You should only be using Bluetooth with this sound bar if you're using it with your tablet, phone, or something like that. But using it to pair to your TV is a huge no-go. The reason why I'm so against it is because uh, in a lot of cases, you'll have uh, lip sync problems. And then also the communication, the wireless communication can fail, leaving you with no sound or spotty sound. So therefore, I am a huge advocate for telling people, please use your cables when you can use them. I love wireless communication. It's nice. But in this case, just use your cables. The soundbar is capable of playing music from a USB drive as well. So all you would do is plug your USB right into there. If you have music files on there, this soundbar will be able to play those files. Now for the price, Samsung has given you some voice menus. Bluetooth. USB. Those are the basic ones. Now let me show you two of my favorite. Sync. Not that one. Surround. Standard. 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 Unlike Alex, we'll just say Alex for this way it won't trigger nothing in your home. Unlike Alex with uh, Amazon has a more pleasant voice to listen to. This is a lot more robotic. So you get what you pay for, right? Some of you are watching this and y'all are like, wait a minute, Dave, you said there was some caveats. I ain't heard no caveats. I only heard the good stuff. You're about to go spend your money. Well, hold hold on. <laughs> hold on. There are some caveats. First of all, if you mount this or even sit this on your TV stand, there is no menu for you to see as the viewer. So if I hit volume, I have the menu. You don't have the menu. So now I'm going to flip it so you can see the menu. 
right there. And see, now you can see there are little lights in there. But you're not going to sit your soundbar like this. You're going to sit it like this. So when you're operating using your remote, next caveat, Samsung says that this soundbar has a built-in subwoofer. Now, how is that possible? This is a 2.0 channel soundbar, left, right. There's not a 2.1, like the Vizio that I reviewed before. Now, put that picture up there so you can see it. I'll put the link in the description. How is this with a built-in subwoofer for the price? And it's a 2.0 channel soundbar that's just not possible i'm not sure where they're getting that from i believe what they're passing off as a subwoofer is probably some type of uh, passive radiator which is why you're going to get this right here this little uh air hole how is it a built-in subwoofer when it's only two channel it has to be 2.1 remember 2.1 can be external or built in but they still have to state that is 2.1 one being the sub they don't do that here which means that this technically does not have a built-in subwoofer so we're already at two caveats but wait there's more surround sound expansion <laughs> what Okay, when I say that, like, what are you thinking? You're thinking probably like, oh, okay, so, you know, maybe you can get like a, an external wireless kit and you can pair it with this or something like that. No, this is, this is just an, an EQ setting. This is like a similar to night mode or voice enhancement. It's just a setting. I'm not sure why they chose to call that setting that. Maybe because it's just a good selling point. But there is no real true surround sound expansion with this sound bar, okay? Surround. There you go. That's it. All right, last caveat, I promise. My last caveat with this sound bar is the Bluetooth. It's not that it sounds bad or anything like that. When you connect to it, I wish there was some type of prompt either a voice prompt or maybe some type of sound to let you know that you are connected. When you connect to it, it's just kind of silent. I mean, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't beep. It doesn't say connected. Maybe I'm asking for too much in this price range, but that really would have been nice to have some type of indication outside of me just looking on my phone, letting me know that I'm connected to the sound bar. Now we're going to do two different sound tests here. The first one, is gonna be with Bluetooth. And then the second one, I'm gonna connect it to a TV using the optical in. Just wanna state that um, this artist, uh, Judah Romo, is a new and upcoming artist uh, based out of Atlanta. And he's starting his own YouTube uh, journey with his music page. You can go check that out. I'm gonna put his info somewhere around the screen, all right? But um, that's what you're gonna be listening to for this sound test. If you stuck around this long, I hope you already smashed that like button and subscribe to the channel. The Samsung C400 is a smart budget choice. 
good things do come in small sizes, especially when you have the knowledge. I'm Dave Banter, and we are out.